what's going on guys thank you very much for tuning into another video really appreciate it. it means a lot so today we're going to be talking about these guys that you see right here these are called ramps also known as wild leeks it's a cross between a garlic and an onion and if you take a walk in your local little forest area or even if you have to drive a bit take a walk and if you see these vibrant green things they are very delicious they're good to eat completely edible but I would advise you just to break a little bit of the leaf here and smell it first. If it smells like onion and garlic, chances are that is the ramp, wild leek. So also, do your own research. Don't take this video as a one-on-one -on -one guide and just the sole information source of getting these guys. But they are found across North America, so chances are maybe you have even seen them and you just didn't realize. There's going to be two ways that you can take these, but uh, one way is a little more sustainable than the other. So one way is actually, I will show you a few clips, but I just want to explain it first. One way is actually digging up the whole bulb and the root. Problem is there, that's not going to grow back this year, not next year, not the year after. Because you completely took out the root system and these guys, they take about six years to germinate. So that's quite a while. The other sustainable way that I like to use, a lot of foragers like to use, is simply just clipping and harvesting the leaf itself. That way you leave the bulb and the roots, the actual life of the plant, still in the ground and that'll be able to come up next year. So clipping them from the stem, like I mentioned, actually does help sustain the population of these because there was instances in um, Pennsylvania, New York, Southern, uh, sorry, northern states, northeastern states of the U.S. They actually over harvested these guys because they became so popular in restaurants and hotel menus. Everyone wanted them. They were like a, a fad almost. So they got over harvested in a lot of those spots. But it's our job to uh, help sustain them and honestly just take out the leaf and it's delicious. You could still do a lot of recipes with just the leaf. And now I'll show you. I'll bring the camera a little closer. I am self filming on uh, what tools I use and how I actually get these guys. Alrighty, so now for the fun part guys, we're gonna be actually harvesting these. And uh, these are the only two tools that I use. Simple shovel and a pair of kitchen scissors or whatever scissors you have. First way is gonna be the way that I um, don't encourage you to do a lot. And if you do do it, just take a few. So let's say in this patch, there's 10 maybe I'd take one or two and I did take them last time because once a year I'll make um, a nice maybe a liter two liters of flavored oil and you could see that video it's uh, the last one I did actually and uh, yeah so I did use the bulbs for that recipe so let's get started so you're simply just gonna clear out the area There's gonna be leaves more than likely and I'll take let me get one that's kind of secluded. So I'll get these two. Just put your shovel in and lift up. And the other ones just pat down. Okay, so three came up. Sometimes they are clustered together. So that's it guys. Literally just put the shovel in. We're not gonna get technical. Maybe I'd say four inches or so, whatever. And then just uh, lift the shovel up and this will loosen the soil enough for you just to pluck them out. Beautiful. So you got the roots connected and the bulbs. Now from this patch, that's all I'm gonna do. And I'll find a couple other patches and only take a few more like this. Now, this is my favorite way, very sustainable. A lot of foragers do this. You just simply cut right from there. You don't even have to go into the soil. You just put it right on the top of the soil and just simply snip the leaves right off. Put them in your bag and you're good to go. We'll do a couple more here. And even when doing this method, I wouldn't recommend taking the whole patch. For one, I don't know, I kind of like seeing them in the forest as well. For two other foragers are around, I have seen a couple of them. You want to save them for them. 
and um, that's really about it thank you guys so much for watching that's the end of the video but if you do have any questions just shoot them in the comments below or you could follow us on our Instagram shoot me a DM there we post pretty much daily with a lot of stuff like this even some cooking videos hunting fishing anything outdoor related really so it's a beautiful evening I'm gonna continue collecting these guys probably get about half a pound or so and uh, hopefully I'll have some recipes well not hopefully I will have some recipes for you guys in the next following weeks thanks guys appreciate it